The battle for the Anambra Central Senatorial seat for the 2023 election is said to be a disruptive one as constituents clamor for youthful representatives to enable a clear departure from the old order. In a strategic declaration of his intention to run for the Anambra Central Senatorial seat, the 44 years old ex chief of protocol and deputy chief of staff to former governor Willie Obiano, Mr. Uzebuna Okabwe, says he remains the best aspirant, both in personal and professional capacities, to represent his district, as the Red Chamber is a place for hard workers, thinking heads with strategic and innovative propensities. Oh, the sight of giant billboards mounted with a simple inscription, Ozo, greet the people of Anambra State in various locations in the state. These extraordinary billboards elicit suspense amongst the people as they wonder what the billboards stand for and why they are mounted, more especially in areas under the Anambra Central Senatorial District. Again, the billboards rattle major political contenders in the district as only one man bears such name in the central senatorial zone and his experience both in business and politics has been tested and proven. He is the immediate past chief of protocol and deputy chief of staff to former governor Willie Obiano, Mr. Uzwebuna Okabwe. In his country home of Mbuke village, Umunachi, Dunukofia local government area of Anambra state, the 44 years old Uzwebuna Okabwe assembles the media and the local government leadership of his party, the All Progressives Grand Alliance, ABGA, amongst other stakeholders, to declare his intention to run for Senate. He points to the fact that it's time the new order replaced the old order for effective representation. But I also realized as I interacted daily with Indian and Bruffs, all social classes, big and small, rich and poor, that more needs to be done in the way our people are represented in Abuja. And it is only those who understand the problem that can solve it. We will begin here, in our own Anambra Central Senatorial District, to solve our problem of inadequate representation at the Senate. It is time to move from where we are to where we should be. Successive senators of Anambra Central have done their bits, but today's Nigeria requires a drastic departure from the old order. It is time to jettison the business as usual mentality in quotes and embrace the dynamism of the digital age. In the bar in the worm, I stand before you today to announce that next year I'll be going to the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to represent you. Mr. Okabwe reels out his capacity for the job in terms of experience, qualifications and what he intends to do if given the mandate, pointing out his youthfulness as added advantage. I am properly educated for this job, having earned a bachelor's degree in political science and a diploma in the basic understanding of the law, diploma in law. The quality of the bills you sponsor as a lawmaker depends on your full understanding of the issues the law is to address, as well as the people whose life it is to improve. I have a modern worldview and a deep appreciation of the place of Anambra Central constituent in the larger Nigerian context. We are entrepreneurial. We are also educationally aspirational. I will target laws that make it easier for our people to do more business, make more money, and develop our place even further. I will target laws that will make it easier for our people to get better quality education and for the educated ones to assess good jobs and other opportunities available to them all over the world. In Dubai, I had said before that my worldview is modern. It means I think daily about how to plot the average young person from this senatorial district into the budding global information technology, IT economy. We will no longer dwell in the thoughts that worked 50 years ago. Most of the best paying jobs today were created by companies that were not there 30 years ago. I remain the best person to represent this district because in both personal and professional capacities, I do things differently. 
and if Indian Ambra Central want a different outcome, then the man who is essentially different should be sent to do the work. I have had those who feel challenged by our entrance into the race attempt to mock our youthfulness by declaring that the Senate is not for beginners. While I am young, I'm proud of my youthfulness. I dare say that I am not a beginner. I have spent the last 16 years from age 28 preparing myself for today. Eight years in the private sector and eight productive years of being a gatekeeper to the executive governor of Anambra State carries a lifetime of experience in social service and public service. I am experienced in what is needed and how to provide it for the elevation of our people. May I also at this same time state that the Senate is not an old people's home of some sort either. It is a place for hard workers, for thinking heads, for those impatient with how poorly our people have been represented in the past. And nothing, absolutely nothing, would be more profound than Uzu speaking from the Anambra Central at the 10th Senate. Mr. Okabwe also feels questions from journalists with regard to his preparedness for the office he is vying for. I don't need to tell Ndanambra, who have worked closely with me, that I understand what teamwork is. And if we go to the National Assembly, as members of that assembly, my priority and the skills I've garnered in the last 16 years is going to be put to play to ensure that what we see now would be essentially different, which is the reason I said that if Anambra Central wants a different outcome, and indeed Anambra State, then they should send a man that is essentially different to do the work. Today, two other persons have indicated interest in the same ticket. First, I would implore the party to profile these aspirants. After that, ensure that there is a free, fair, and credible primary. And the party would decide who to fly their ticket. If truly we want to have a senator from our own political party representing this district. The Anambra Central Senatorial District constituents insist that Mr. Uzebuna Okabwe is their choice this time. As they not only desire a youth to speak for them, they note that Mr. Okabwe's activities have impacted greatly on the grassroots, especially on youths, women and the less privileged. For them, he is a man whose time has come. This person coming in, one is a younger, you know, the, 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 what the, the opponents we, we are looking at as a disadvantage is the real deal. That's the advantage. That's the main reason we want him to go there. The youths, just wait when we get into the election. The youths are the election. The youths will want him. The youths will want somebody that is easier for them to relate with somebody that reasons like them more or less but has had the experience to be able to contain them manage them and then plan for them the party doesn't want a sleeping uh, a dog to represent us anywhere then number two number two is we are we don't talk about one's uh, age we talk about one's capacity. We don't like to give one a ticket whereby he fails election. He will not uh, 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 achieve our own uh, aims. So we know Uzo have the capacity. Since his declaration of intention to run for Senate, Mr. Uzwebuna Okabwe has continued to interface with various groups within and out of his political family and has received tremendous endorsements. Recently, 
he was received by the Nigerian Union of Journalists during their monthly congress, where he shared his visions with them on his ambition. Again, he has also interacted with the Anambra Central Senatorial Traditional Rulers, where he dropped his message of jettisoning the business as usual mentality and embracing the dynamism of the digital age in representing his people in the regime. <laughs> Yeah.